The Medicine Hat Tigers hold themselves to a high standard when it comes to how they perform on the ice and on the score sheet. The same can be said for where they have an arguably greater impact, the younger generation. This year with a couple of the guys at the River Heights School, it's part of our Sonova Stay in School program. Um, we do eight school visits a season. It's pretty cool. I mean, some of the kids, like when you ask them a question, they're just like this, and they're like, me? And you're like, yeah, yeah, you. Anybody here know what they want to be when they're older? What do you want to be? A dentist. Dentist? What about you? An NHL player. An NHL player. I think it's more nerve-wracking for the players because it's something that they're not used to doing. But they do, you know, they do like to do it, and uh, they get a kick out of it. You know, a lot of the kids have some funny questions for them. And uh, my favorite animal would probably be a dog. Uh, favorite color is orange, and my favorite uh, place to be would probably be Florida too. You don't always get to uh, just kind of just chat with them. All you get to do is just see them skating across the ice, scoring goals and stuff. So it's really great to get to know them and stuff. I want to become a doctor if uh, hockey doesn't work out? I think uh, something like the law would be good, a lawyer or something like that. I think it's a lot of schoolwork, but I think it would be worth it in the end. Specifically in grade six, we had a couple of players come, and I was pretty excited uh, back then, you know, real young hockey fan. I remember we had the Blades come in a couple times, and it was, it was really awesome. Uh, not, because, not just because they were like semi-professional hockey players coming to talk to us, and you got to miss a little bit of school, which was, which was kind of fun. Yeah, I guess uh, as a child you always had uh, heroes and, uh, and, and now these guys get to meet them up, you know, up front and personal, right behind me, getting autographs. So I think that's pretty important for them. Some of the hardest times one can face in a lifetime may occur in buildings like this. That's why having someone to look up to is the driving force behind these programs. If you're having problems here at school, even at home, uh, uh, they're there for you and you can always talk to them and I know growing up I had a lot of great teachers here so. Three big older cousins and they were pretty big role models to me. I mean we grew up, one is a year older, one's two years older. They both played in the WHL for a while. And they have a little brother, he's, he's my cousin too obviously, he's, he's got Down syndrome and so uh, you know they, just the way they take care of him. Uh, my stepdad Chris, he's awesome. I think you never have to do anything you don't want to do and, and peer pressure gets greater as you go into high school and, and there's parties and stuff like that but if there's something that you're uncomfortable with there's always your teachers and your parents. It's just great because it, it means so much to the kids to be able to kind of see the players in a different element and understand that you know, they went through a lot of the same things they're going through now. I think you got to stay on top of your grades and uh, you can use them for the rest of your life so the harder you work now uh, the more it'll pay off in the future just as important for themselves to setting goals and uh, measurable little tiny goals and step by step they can move along. At 19 years old we're just kids ourselves and I mean they're they're looking up to us it's pretty sweet. For Shaw TV I'm Dave Dawson.